guys, so it's our first day in sunny Menorca. We're just exploring the old town and currently we're in a beautiful museum. It's a really stunning old uh, limestone building. We're just going to explore the town and then we've got a boat trip this afternoon. So it should be a lovely day. So we've just had lunch at this really beautiful little um, place down on the seafront. I don't know if you can see behind me some really beautiful views. So we're just overlooking the harbour. There's lots of seafood which I'm not the hugest fan of so they really kindly made me a steak and chips so a an English meal. But now we're going on a boat trip so we're all probably going to fall asleep but it should be really really lovely. We are now at the Binafadet vineyard close to the centre of Mahon and just tried a lovely white wine and now going in to have some red and some rosé. This is the Vina Blanco and it's really really fresh and fruity so really lovely. up at a lovely bay and we've all been jumping in, swimming in the water, with our magic sausages floating around, by magic sausages, those floaty things, and yeah, it's really beautiful, really hot, and we're now just going to sail back to Cornell, so we're going to have um, some food for the fish and fish. farm in the south of the island and we're seeing how the seawater basically goes through all these different almost like boxes in the ground and the idea is to convert 3% salt in the water to 25% in the water which they do by putting it in really shallow pools so that the water can evaporate and it just leaves the salt. So we've just seen this giant sieve which they use to scrape the salt off the top of the water.
So we are now just walking around Ciudadela, which used to be the capital of Menorca before I think it was the Roman invasion. We're just walking around some really beautiful side streets, having a good little explore. It's a really beautiful old city. I think I actually prefer this to Mahon, so yeah, it's a really lovely town.